Hello, Janet. Uh, it's Raul. It's uh, Sunday. I believe it's the 27th. <laughs> I lose track of time. I'm back out here in uh, Pasadena City College. And I wanted to use this as a backdrop because it's beautiful. You know, the, you know, it's springtime and the flowers are blooming and, you know, it's beautiful. It's kind of a crispy day. But I noticed across the street here at the Chick-fil-A, there's a flag flying at half mast. And I'm wondering who died. I know Madeline Albright died. Uh, died, and I'm wondering if that's what uh, I'm just. I haven't listened to the news, but um, but I'm out here. I just wanted to run something by you about the the Democrat globalist Marxist party and their philosophy. I dug out a quote. I wanted to go on the Leo Terrell show because he talks about when his commercials. We deal in facts. You know, he's a big supporter of uh, President Donald John Trump, who's really our president right now. And um, but we got that jackass in the White House, that imposter, uh, Joe Joseph Robinette. Uh, what do they call him? Joe uh, Lunch Bucket Joe Biden, who's never worked a day in his life in the White House. That's, see, that's how what liars the media is. Well, I shot you that real quick, that little snippet of of Minister Malcolm X, El Haj Malik Al Shabazz, uh, in explaining how during World War II. The Russians and the Chinese were our allies. And then after the war ended, the uh, Japanese, you know, and the Italians, you know, they became our allies, you know. And uh, who was it? The Japanese, the Italians, and the Germans, I'm sorry. Those three became our palsy wowsies And guess what? The Russians and the Chinese became our enemies. You see, that that's the power of the media. They start spoon feeding you. They say, well, these people are not so bad. You know, the, the, the war's over and all that, right? Well, I just want to show you how the media, they cover up for the, um, for the you know, Democrat, globalist, Marxist party. I'm going to read you a quote by Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, who's the, the head squad member of the squad, you know, that Marxist outfit of a bunch of Marxist, socialist uh, jackasses up in Washington. This woman is embarrassing. She's, she's a, such an idiot. Makes uh, Puerto Ricans look like real fools. Well, she said the following, and she's being interviewed by Anderson Cooper. Now, this is the essence of the Marxists that, uh, that, of the Democrat Party. She said the following, because they don't believe in facts, like Leo Terrell believes in facts, like you and I, Janet, believe in facts, right? She said the following. She's being interviewed by Anderson Cooper, and I'll, you know, I'll bring him in right here. She said, I think that there's a lot of people more concerned about being precisely, factually, and germanically correct than about being morally right. And Anderson Cooper says, but being factually correct is important. She said, it's absolutely important. Just contradicting herself, the idiot, right? But then she says this, but it's not the same thing as the president, Trump, right? lying about immigrants okay now he's not lying about immigrants they're not immigrants you jackass they are illegal migrants see that's what they will not call them they i mean to call an illegal migrant you know immigrants is a disgrace they bum rush that border cut took cuts got in here they're in the black market economy they're being exploited but on the other hand, for cheap labor, they're selling flowers on the goddamn street. And you don't know who the hell put them out there. They will not tell you. They're selling Tide detergent soap. You've seen my videos. They're getting that stuff from somewhere. And I heard it's the Mexican mafia, you know, hijacking these um, big rigs out in the desert at gunpoint. So what you have here, you, you have a, a party that will not tell you the truth. They will not deal with issues in, in, with candor like Bobby Kennedy said he would. So this is what you have. You have them, they'll say that uh, a pro-abortion is, is pro-choice. Okay, they're always, you know, giving, giving you that jive talk, you know. Oh, I, I'm not pro-abortionist, I'm pro-choice. No, jackass, you are pro-abortionist because you advocate for abortion. You're not advocate for the woman uh, having the baby. You want to slaughter that baby like Margaret Sanger loved, loved to, where she says that, you know, they, they, they refer to a fetus as a pregnancy they will not refer to it in their literature as a as a fetus because you have to say you're going to end the life of the fetus they don't want to say that you want to end the pregnancy this is what you do see how that they're disgusting and moral they are how about the homosexual 
uh, oh, you know, he's gay, man. Oh, really? So that's what the, the, the Flintstones meant when they said we'll have a gay old time? Two men having intercourse? That vile, disgusting, un, that, that just filthy, unsanitary sex they have? Like Anderson Cooper and Don Lemon, that creep? You could just see them there smiling. Oh, God, I don't even want to go. <laughs> you know, you want to take what they say seriously, two men who engage in such filthy sexual practices, perversion like that? And they... Now, it was outlawed until 19, about the time that I was born, 1950s, late 50s, they outlawed it. It was outlawed because it's a disgusting practice, anal sex. Okay, now you have the illegal migrant. Well, what are they? Oh, he's an unauthorized immigrant. Oh, he's an undocumented immigrant. Uh, an undocumented in immigrant, right? Or no, he's a, he's a day laborer. Let's label him that. Oh, no, no, let's just, just throw the towel and he's an immigrant. Just like that jackass Ocasio-Cortez said in that interview. Do you see how they, they like to rephrase things to make it more appealing to you when they know that they are full of crap? Now, I just wanted to run this by you, read you that quote, because I am so sick and tired of these the damn media not asking them questions, not ha asking them the hardball questions because they're in bed with them. You know, they, they just made, I mean, they attacked, Donald John Trump, President Donald John Trump, relentlessly for those two years, through a four years, four years of this misery. That's why I have mixed feelings of him getting back in the White House. Going to say the same bull crap from these damn reporters who won't ask mumbling, bumbling Joe Biden any tough questions. He just says that's enough questions. I'm leaving. And then, oh yes, yes, your highness. Well, Janet, uh, you know, the late great. Minister Malcolm X, Al, Al Haj Malik Al Shabazz, in that in that little snippet, said a lot about the media, how they control our thinking. They're very influential. And I'll have another quote for you later. I'll send it to you on a, on a, on an email regarding where he says that they're the most powerful entity on earth is the media. They can make an innocent man guilty and a guilty man innocent. But that, I'm I'm paraphrasing there. But that this man I revere. I'm going to FedEx um, to talk to my good friend over, over there. His name is Gerald. Uh, I'm, I'm going to have him run off this picture, a uh, five by seven of, of Malcolm, uh, Minister Shabazz, I like to refer to him, uh, making a speech and then a, a picture of him with his two daughters, uh, Atala and Kabila, I believe. Yeah, Kabila. And he's just looking at them in admiration. You know, he had six daughters. He had uh, two were twins. And, you know, it's just it's disgraceful what the black man has done to himself by assassinating this great, this great, this great man, this great leader, uh, this great, uh, you know, shining prince. That's what the uh, Aussie Davis, the black shining prince who really could have advanced the, the black man's plight and advanced them, you know, to the future. But they were they when they killed them, they just knocked the black man back like, you know, 100 years. I mean, without him there, because he had the charisma and the power and his or he was a great orator. I mean, the greatest. And, you know, what they do, well, we're going we're gonna to assassinate him and we're going to stick with the pedophile here, Elijah Muhammad. That, that's all ridiculous and st really stupid uh, these black folks are. I'll, I'll be uh, sending you out uh, this uh, upload real quick. Bye.